Uh, my name is Zach Shelby. I'm from the IoT team here at ARM. At ARM, we provide technology for computing, all kinds of computing, and we brought along examples of how we use low-power microcontrollers and software for IoT to create cool stuff. So what we have here now is a internet-connected Nespresso coffee machine. We're doing a couple things. We think that coffee ordering experience should be a lot smoother, so we've actually built uh, capsule detection technology using a small microcontroller and the embed software ecosystem, software platform inside. So we can detect what kind of Nespresso capsules people are drinking and we send it to a live web service. So you could track how much your office is consuming and then you can do automatic orders in theory. Order more coffee to the office, for example, without having to do anything. So we actually do um, light detectors. We're detecting... Um, we're uh, using lights to create the back color that we detect colors. So. But we also do a lot with uh, LED light control using Bluetooth Low Energy. So I actually have a, a sign where we've embedded uh, LED lights with a BLE controller running embed software. So actually from a phone application, you can go and control your LEDs very easily. Yeah, so we actually connect the two systems together. So when we detect the color of, let's say, a Roma capsule, which is like a dark gray, we can project the same light into the sign. It's just a fun effect. So we actually did this project with our ARM uh, hacker team inside the company. And the reason we did it was actually to try to learn how hard it is to create a whole product, a whole system. And what we found out is a lot of pieces of software you have to create. It's actually a lot of work. So we're taking that knowledge and building a lot of that into our software projects that we give to, to makers. Here at Maker Faire, we've had a lot of people come by and actually love to interact with the coffee project. And I think they can they can see that, hey, this would be really fun to have at home as well, you know. And we have a lot of partners that work with us to use our technology in their own systems. Another great example is Zebra. So Zebra actually creates cloud services for enterprise types of assets. They track assets, they know how they're doing, where they are. And they brought a connected wine rack. And the connected wine rack is fun because they're actually putting tags on wine bottles and in the rack. And they're detecting in real time what bottles are there, when are they open, you know, how much you need to order, what you have. So at, home, at the office, you could go look at what wine you've got in your rack when you're going home, what are you going to cook. It's fun. For us at ARM, the Internet of Things is all about permissionless innovation. Really trying to bring the technology to people that have the cool ideas and get them to market without having to ask anybody for, for help other than who they want to. I think the important thing for makers is choice. Right? So for us, we encourage people to go use all the great platforms we work with, from Raspberry Pi to Arduino to all the dev boards that chip manufacturers make available. What we try to do is provide online tools and SDKs that you can use on those. So embed.com, great place to go look at free online compilers, free software to use on lots of different platforms.